So to summarize what we uh, are doing at the moment, our train has pulled into the Barockstadt University train station and uh, can't quite reach the winding mechanism. So um, the university people and we obviously want to continue our journey, uh, but for that we need to tow the train to the winding mechanism. We found some people who own a barge in the canal who are willing to tow our train to the winding mechanism, but they want to be paid for it. Uh, so we asked if there's any jobs we can do around the university and they said you can repair the bandstand. Uh, for that we need an egg-like thing. I haven't looked into it further than that. We also need to make sure that the barge can actually leave the canal because the lock is closed at the moment and the barge is as stuck as our train is at right now. Uh, we've also talked to a professor who uh, studied with Hans Vorarlberg at this university and was fascinated by his story of the mammoth doll and would love a chance to actually view it. Uh, so we're going to go back to our train and grab the mammoth doll. Um, we're also going to check, this is the lock. Uh, obviously the barge can't move, all the water is on the wrong side of it. Uh, and that's it for now. So we need something to open the door to the bandstand. We need, which will get us money so we can pay the people from the barge. We need to open the lock and uh, we need to give the mammoth doll to that professor. So I think what we'll do at first is uh, we'll see if we can get the mammoth doll and bring it to the professor. Uh, we'll also see uh, if we can find an egg-like thing because there was one thing that looked like an egg in the uh, door opening mechanism for the bandstand so we'll see there's a lot of birds around here so i'm sure there will be uh nests probably up this ladder <gasps> oh. apparently these birds are scary uh, we did read in a book, uh, we found a book that explains that these birds, the Amazonian cuckoo, really loves the uh, Sauvi uh, forest sauvignon grape, which apparently is being grown in, in this university as well. So we can probably lure the birds away if we can get some of those grapes. So I'm just going to check out this area. can't go that way. No, I can't go that way. That seems from looking through the windows here, it seems to lead to some sort of garden or fruit orchard or something like that. So that may be where our grapes will be growing. Um, but I don't know about the grapes. Uh, we haven't checked out the entire station yet. We haven't been this way at all. So I'm just going to check what's over here. Ah. What's this? in my pocket a hook that will probably come in handy when we want to tow our train uh, with the barge let's talk to this guy maybe he knows something hello you're on my train i see yes i've come from valadilene it's been a long time since i've seen a train here 
student. Did you bring students with you? No, I traveled alone. Well, almost alone. I remember around the start of fall, trains would bring kids from all around the world here to study zoology and botany, paleontology and all that stuff. This was a great university. And it isn't still great today, then? Uh, today? Well, uh, huh. I guess not. <laughs> uh, yeah, do you know where these grapes grow? Where might I find some forest sauvignon plants, please? No place around here, that's for sure. I don't know what you're talking about. That stuff's from the Amazon. <laughs> you know, for someone who knows nothing about the plant, you seem pretty well informed about which mysterious faraway country it comes from. Oh, well, Amazon, Peru, Papua, New Guinea, it's all the same to me. Gotta go. Gotta work. Oh, that Wait, was suspicious. don't go. You know what? I don't think he was being totally straight with me. Well, that's a very high perception for a lawyer there. So he was lying. I wonder why. Oh, oh. Uh, let's go back because I want to actually go to the train get the mammoth doll that the professor wants to see so desperately. I'm sure we'll make him happy. Uh, These birds sure are noisy. Oh, quiet. Mammoth. Any moves? Everything okay, Oscar? Yes, Kate Walker. I am awaiting your instructions. Um, asking him for money. Um, There's a winding machine further... Impossible, Kate Walker. Train Engineer's Instruction Manual, Chapter 3, Article 2. Once the springs are slack, the train cannot move. The train cannot move by itself, Oscar. Only by itself. Uh, yeah, I think Hans was here. Oscar, I think that Hans Vorlberg once stayed in this town after he left Valadilen. Maybe this wasn't a chance stopover after all. Nothing is left a chance in a railroad network. You agree with me then? We have no concrete proof to support your hypothesis. The train stopped because the clockwork mechanism is unwound. That is the only concrete evidence we have, Kate Walker. I was just hoping for a little imagination on your part, Oscar. No, Kate Walker. I am only an automaton, Kate Walker. Uh, it was confirmed to us that Hans actually did stay here, so... Oscar, see you later, alligator. In a while, Kate Walker. <laughs> So the storyline is, well, not the storyline, but the, the puzzles are all sort of falling together. We need to move the birds, for that we need the Sauvignon grapes. Um, we also need to, for that we need to, that we need to get an egg, that's why we need to move the birds. Uh, so we can get into the bandstand, so we can get the money to get the barge to move the train, so we can wind it up. Hmm. Excuse me, Station Master, but I need you again. Can't you see? I am very, very busy. Uh, no. Well, 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 I am. <laughs> very busy indeed. But, uh, okay, okay, I, I think I can give you a minute of my time. Um, 
I'm going to ask him uh, about Hans, actually. The name Hans Varlberg doesn't mean anything to you by chance, does it? Oh, do you really think I'd remember one little name from the thousands that pass through this station? I guess not. Uh, I'll... Yeah, the birds are interesting. All these birds in a station. It's amazing. This is no ordinary station, miss. <laughs> oh, no. These birds are part of the prestigious University of Baruchstadt Ornithological Collection. Over the years, this aviary has housed some of the most fantastic species from all over the world. And I am not exactly your typical station master either. This little world is my responsibility, and that is no easy task. I can well believe you. And you know what's the hardest? The hardest thing is to keep interspecial harmony. And one day some explorer introduced a couple of cuckoos from the Amazon. Whoa! It wasn't a good idea? A nightmare! You know, cuckoos lay their eggs in the nests of other species, right? Now, what's more, they also push the host's egg out of the nest so that they receive all the mother's attention, right? Accursed cuckoos. Nightmare. I see what you mean. That's one tricky bird. And there was nothing you could do to stop it? The faculty declared the bird a protected species. If it wasn't for our mechanical eagle, we were sitting on a major ornithological catastrophe. You have an automaton here? A wonder of technology. It's an eagle that's mounted on rails in the air. It passes through and it swoops down to collect parasite eggs. But heck, the dang eagle's been out of order for several years. Impossible to collect the eggs myself. Why not? I, uh, I can't climb up the gangway. I fell off it several months back and I still have a pain in my spine. Not to mention the vertigo I've been getting. I only, only have to look up in the air. Whoa. You poor soul. That must be very hard. Worst thing is, cuckoo eggs piling up in the nest. Soon the rectors are gonna notice. There's trouble in store. Big trouble. I'm worried. Yep. Worried. Oh dear. So that's the birth control that the book talked about. The book that uh, the information on these cuckoos and the food they like to eat said that the Brockstadt University actually had uh, found a way of a sort of birth control for these cuckoos so they wouldn't take over the entire aviary. So that's that eagle that I'm assuming Hans built uh, in exchange for being for uh, being allowed to attend classes here. Uh, I'll ask him about the grapes again though because now I know for sure we need to go up that ladder um, because that's where the eagle is that uh, picks up the eggs and we need an egg to be able to enter the bandstand that sounds so weird out of context probably I'm looking for a kind of little juicy berry you don't know where I could find some? Look, lady, the station doesn't have any Sauvignon berries, not even for Sauvignon. Funny you should mention it. That's exactly what I was looking for. Forest Sauvignon. Uh, Sauvignon, raspberries, <laughs> red currants, they're all the same to me. And we don't grow none of them here. But you see, I have just read a very interesting book, which says that the rare Sauvignon berry is actually cultivated here in the famous Baruchstadt University Avery itself. Well, if it's in a book, then... <laughs> don't believe everything you read, miss. I don't know why, but I don't think you're telling me the truth. What do you mean? I don't know. How should I know where to find your stupid grave? Go ask your professor, what his name, Pond, the paleontologist. But you're the master of this station, so you should know better than anyone. Nobody tells me anything. I don't know. Go see the old guy with a fossil. I will. I won't disturb you any longer, Mr. Station Master. Welcome to Barockstadt, miss. <laughs> I was actually on my way to go see him anyway because I wanted to give him that mammoth doll that I got from uh, the cave back in Valadilen. The one that Hans originally found when he was 10 years old. That caused him to be obsessed with mammoths. Uh.